Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about that interesting debate, that interesting topic in cycling, that is pedals. And I have with me all the kinds of pedals that I have used uh, throughout the years. Uh, we have here the famous flat pedal. This is the so-called toe cap that is uh, put in this, uh, this is adapt in front of the flat pedals. It's a very nice option. We have here the road cycling kind of pedal. Yeah, this is uh, the rigid shoe. I have the pedal on my uh, road bike. I didn't uh, take it out. Uh, we have here the old school flat pedal with cage, so-called the clip pedal. And we have here one of the favorites of mine, the SPD Shimano mountain bike pedal. Okay, so let's talk about first with the flats. Okay, uh, let's talk about the advantages. The advantages of this is first, it is very cheap. It comes with your bicycle and you can use any shoe um, and just grab your bicycle and go. But what's the problem, in my opinion, with these kind of pedals? Well, if you don't have the kind of pedal that is so-called, um, in, in fact, is is the Crank Brothers type pedal with the kind of the screws, you may feel, and even with those, you may feel a slippery it's, uh, yeah, sometimes it, it may feel slippery, especially when you are pedaling uh, standing on your bicycle. Uh, your kind of pedaling, if you are uh, accustomed to use this kind of SPD or the road bike shoes, you will feel your pedaling technique is not as smooth, it's not as circular on these pedals to this, because on this kind of flat pedals you always have to apply the force downwards. You can kind of uh, do this movement with your, with, your, with your foot when you are going the downstroke. So the force is always downward. Um, but uh, this is the kind of only... Um, the only comes that I find with the flat pedals, if I tell you. Now, the next thing we have is the toe cap. The toe cap is good. Uh, it prevents you from slipping in front of the pedals. It gives you a little bit more uh, safety. Yeah, You have a better control and you have still the possibility of use any kind of shoes with this. This is very, very uh, inexpensive and you can put it on any flat pedal and you are set to go. Yeah, I think with this, the flat pedals are more usable. In my opinion, of course, it all depends on what you are going to do with your bicycle. But um, if you are going to do some miles with your bicycle, you are going to pedal a lot uh, standing on your bicycle, I think this is a good addition to your bicycle. Now, the next, uh, the next uh, pedal we're going to talk about is the road pedal. The road pedal is made for efficiency. It is, uh, the shoe is stiff. You can't walk on this. And, and that's one of the most negative sides of using these kind of pedals. And that's why I don't use them. I don't like it too much. Uh, because uh, that thing, you can't walk <laughs> on these shoes, but uh, I'll tell you, the efficiency and the pedaling is, um, is awesome, because all the strength goes to the motion of your bicycle. Next, next, is the cage. This is the old-timer's favorite. This is the classic of cycling. Uh, in here, you get the flat pedal with this adapter 
you see here the screws and this strap around your foot now uh, let me tell you what this is I think the best compromise for someone who wants to do a lot of uh, miles or kilometers depending where you are living and don't want to be set in one of those shoes you know imagine you are going to bicycle touring and you want to be as efficient as possible and you want to take your shoes sandals or trail running shoes and you want to use them both alike this is the best pedal for you i mean yeah next here we have the famous spd these things are very lightweight um it's clips here and um, there is something very good about this i didn't bring the shoe now but uh, the spd shoes there are available on stiff material like this one but also on the walking shoes so you can perfectly walk on those uh, i will be honest with you uh, is it is not a walking shoe of course you can't expect to be as comfortable in a touring spd shoe as you will be on a hiking boot or a hiking shoe because you will still feel that uh, clip underneath your your foot but uh, you can walk you can walk and you can bring your bicycle aside and uh, be comfortable yeah that's cool so in my order of preference there it is let's start the less preferred is the flat pedal second is the flat pedal with the toe cap the toe adapter the next favorite of mine is the road shoe, the road pedal. Next, the cage, flat pedal with cage and strap. And the most favorite of mine is, of course, the SPD pedal. Okay, so I'm going to tell you now something. When to choose a clipless pedal and when to choose a flat pedal well let me tell you something if you are going to commute you are going to do a few kilometers or a few miles from your home to work or your home to grocery stores I will opt to go to get to the flat pedal because if you are not going to do some kilometers you are not going to do a long ride the convenience of having any shoe ready to ride your bicycle is awesome so in that opinion i think the flat pedal is the win-win for you no matter don't bother going clipless because uh, for a commuter bike that you won't do a lot of kilometers and you you won't do any ex sporting riding you won't get any benefits of, of going clipless just stick with your flat pedal maybe adding a toe adapter maybe yeah, and you will get a uh, better serve. But um, if you are going for the longer rides, you want to be uh, doing your cycling more in a sportive manner, and you want efficiency, and you want to be, uh, uh, you want to evolve riding your bicycle, I think this pedal is for you because you will become one with your bicycle your feet will be attached to your pedals and you will be uh, very very in control of your bike and if you don't want to go with this one well just try the cage don't get uh, don't get uh, very scared about this pedal you know the trick here is not to be to um, don't place it to uh, how can i say to fit to uh, how can i say don't strap it uh, keep it loose i mean yeah and that way you will be able to remove your feet a lot easier don't go kind of let's go my my feet won't come out no 
leave it a little bit loose you know so you will be more comfortable you will feel more confident and you won't fall <laughs> and that's very important okay so here we go today i'm going to attach these bad boys on my bicycle yeah you will see what what are you doing yeah yeah i will do it because this one here i found the other pedal is a little bit loose on the axle so i have to open this up remove the axle and do the proper maintenance to keep my pedals running smoothly for years to come so i hope this is useful for you uh, leave me a like on the here below give a like subscribe to my channel and comment on what's your preference if you have tried another kind of pedal i know there is kind of one that is with a velcro strap i think it's from cinelli i think cinelli has a i never tried those it's like a it's like a flip-flop more or more or less it's like a velcro strap that you put your foot in and it keeps uh, secure i never try one of those but it's like uh, one of these more or less if you have tried another kind of pedal just give your comment below and as always thank you very much for watching these videos and see you next time good ride stay safe bye bye have fun